Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Rachel and I'm a craft producer at makersgonnalearn.com. If you do not know who we are or what we do, I would love to let you know that you guys can become a member of Makers Gonna Learn today. Go ahead and click the very first link in the description below to see how you can gain access to not only thousands of cut files and hundreds of fonts, but gain access to an amazing member only Facebook group, amazing beginner tutorials, and so much more. In today's video, this is another really fun q and Tuesday where we are going to be able to answer your all's burning craft questions. Today's craft question is, do I have to use Cricut brand products with my Cricut machine? And we are delighted to tell you that you do not have to do that. We have a table full of amazing products that we cannot wait to share with you today and hopefully save you guys some money in the long run. I'm super excited about this one, so let's go ahead and jump into it. The first product that we are super excited to tell you you don't have to buy from Cricut brand is the mats. Tanner just did an incredible mat comparison video that I will link down below and he put three mats head to head, one Cricut brand, one brand from our local craft store and one brand from Amazon. And the Amazon brand, which was also the cheapest, came out on top. This is the Nikapa brand cutting mats and they are amazing. If you want some bang for your buck and you want to have really great quality mats, look no further than this mat right here. You can buy them in a three pack, I believe, from Amazon and the price is incredible. We cannot wait for you guys to ditch those Cricut mats and save money by using the Nikapa mats. Next up, and a pretty important one, is vinyl and iron-on. You do not have to use Cricut brand vinyl and iron-on, and to be quite honest, we wouldn't recommend it. We have a great video about comparing vinyl brands, and StarCraft came out on top. Because of that, that is what we use on a daily basis for our vinyl. It comes in 64 different colors, and the price is amazing. It is much cheaper than Cricut. The price is included in that video, too, if you want to see it. But the price is incredible. Also, so you can order these in bulk. So if you want a large roll, you can save even more money. Now, as far as uh, HTV goes, which is heat transfer vinyl, which also means iron on, we love StarCraft brand. It also comes in a ton of colors. You can buy matte or glossy as you also can in the regular vinyl and it cuts and weeds beautifully. This is the only HTV we use and really the only one that we recommend. These both we buy from 143vinyl.com. I will link both of them down below and you can can peruse the amazing colors and see what you can find what you would like to purchase if you try and you love it which we know you will we can't wait for you guys to order more and really enjoy your materials too often unfortunately we see people beginners even super unhappy with their projects and their um how they're going in their crafting journey because they feel like they've hit a wall with their material. They feel like it doesn't cut well, it doesn't weed well. Well, unfortunately, if you're using Cricut brand, a lot of the times it is the material's fault and not the user's fault. To be quite honest, the materials are a bit hard to work with. The HTV doesn't like to stick to anything but cotton in their opinion. It has a hard time sticking to any kind of cotton poly blends, even wood, which we do a lot of iron on wood projects. It really doesn't like to work on those types of services. As far as the vinyl, it's hard to weed. It's very hard to weed. Also, it's a little bit hard to apply too. So if you guys are stuck in a Cricut rut and you are a beginner and you're wondering if maybe you should just quit, we urge you to try a different material. That is probably the answer to all of your problems. The third item we would not recommend you buying from Cricut is your printable vinyl for your print and cut decals. This printable vinyl, Miss Becca did a member only video over on the website, which is absolutely incredible. She compared a bunch of different brands and this one, Zakoto, came out on top. This is a glossy printable uh, vinyl and it's also water resistant, which is awesome. You guys will love this. Not only is it around the same price as Cricut, you get five more sheets and the quality is tenfold better than Cricut printable vinyl. We love this material and I will link a couple videos down below using it so you guys can see it in action. But the moral of the story is this needs to be in your Amazon cart right now. One product you do not have to buy directly from Cricut is the pins. I think we can all agree that Cricut pins are expensive. They don't last very long and the quality is 
pretty okay, pretty subpar. But would you be super excited if I told you you can use pens and markers from the dollar store? That's right, guys. These pens that I'm holding in my hand right now were $1 at the Dollar Tree, and they work beautifully in the Cricut. Like most of these, we do have some great videos down below demonstrating this in various different ways. We use these markers. We have used Crayola fine tip markers. The only thing you have to be careful of is to make sure that your pens can fit in your adapter. Sometimes you need to remove your adapter, which is super easy by opening the clamp and pressing up on the adapter, and you can fit a lot more pens in there. Sometimes you even have to have a little bit of finagling with a rubber band and things like that. However, you can get most pinned to work and you can save so much money. And to be honest, guys, some of the markers we've used have a deeper, darker, more bold line than any of the Cricut pins we've used, which we really, really, really like for a lot of our um, drawing and writing projects. Now, let's talk about something controversial, cleaning your Cricut mats. So we're just gonna be open and honest here. Cricut does not recommend cleaning your mats, and we know why. It's because Cricut would like you to throw your mats away and buy more. We understand it's a great business strategy. However, we at Makers & Learn wanna save you all some money. Because of that, we have an amazing video about three different ways to clean your Cricut mats. Tanner shows you how to clean them with LA's Totally Awesome, which is the cleaner you can find at the dollar store, dishwashing liquid, and baby wipes. That's right, guys. You can use baby wipes to clean your dirty Cricut mats. All of them, it doesn't matter which kind. It doesn't even matter how dirty. Baby wipes will do a fantastic job at doing that. So if you have a dirty mat, please don't throw it away. We want to save you some money. You don't have to just keep buying Cricut brand mats. We want you guys to have a lot more life in your mats than you think. So using one or two baby wipes in small circular motions around your mat can really save you time and money in the long run. Don't forget to check out that video if you would like to know the other two ways Tanner shows you and how to clean all of your Cricut mats. Next, we're gonna talk about some little tools and accessories that we use every single day. First up, we're gonna talk about this alcohol pump bottle. Now, you guys might have seen these if you've really watched any of our videos dealing with vinyl, but we love to clean our blanks. Now, that means if we have a sign or we have a mug or something like that, we always get a paper towel and open up our alcohol pump bottle and wipe off our mug or what have you before we apply vinyl down to it. That is one of the key elements to make your project successful is to make sure your mug is completely clean before adding any type of vinyl or anything like that. Because of that, we have these amazing um, pump bottles. Now we were using just regular alcohol. It was, a, it was a messy process. The lid, we would lose the lid a lot. It would just be super messy. So we found these originally at the Dollar Tree. Then we found these on Amazon and they are so much higher quality. They hold more alcohol and they hold up better. They're definitely more durable. So we really, really like this alcohol pump bottle for all of our vinyl projects. This is a must in our craft room. Speaking of vinyl, next up is a good burnishing tool. You always need to burnish your vinyl before you weed and when you add your transfer paper and whenever you apply that vinyl to your blank, you always need to burnish. We have been using the Cricut brand scraper tools and let me tell you, they are super stiff. Once you use them a couple times, it's almost like they chip off and then they start actually scratching your vinyl. It is a nightmare. We buy these from 143 Vinyl and they are a little bit bendy. They are beautiful colors. They're larger, they cover more surface area, and they work 10 times better. We have multiples of these in all our craft rooms and we cannot craft without these. We love these and they're only like $2. So definitely go and grab you some of these amazing squeegees for all of your burnishing needs. The next tool that we're gonna showcase from 143 Vinyl is the pin pin tool. This is a must if you are weeding anything super small, delicate, or intricate. Sometimes our traditional weeding tools just cannot get in those itty bitty nooks and crannies, and that is when the pin pin tool comes into play, and it is a game changer. It is basically, it looks just like an ink pen, and on the very end, it looks like a needle, and that is basically all it is. A super simple, slick design, and we use it on the daily basis because we have so many projects that we just kind of can't weed super well with our larger weeding tool and this is a must for all crafting. 
Last but not least, as far as tools go, is our amazing weeder tool. If you're anything like us, you've been using the Cricut brand weeder tool for years. That's all that we ever knew, and it's been our favorite, just the hook weeder tool. So while we're using this for years and years, I was looking on Amazon and found this little fella for cheaper, and he also is a different color. He's this pretty green, and I thought, let me buy a couple and see how they work. Guys, they're amazing. The quality is awesome. Now this is all that we use. If you are anything like us, you have noticed the tips of the Cricut Weeder Tools bend and break constantly, all the time. Brand spanking new after a week of use, the tip starts to bend. That is not good at all. We have been bending them back and using them way past their due date for years because we thought that is just as good as it gets until we found this weeding tool. Not one of these tips have bent or broken off and we could not be more happy about the money that we've saved. So this along with all these products I mentioned will be linked down below for you guys to go ahead and grab, put in your Amazon cart, buy from 143 Vinyl and level up your crafting. We love this weeder tool. And last but not least, guys, is something we're kind of excited and a little nervous to share with you, which is the Mini Easy Press Alternative. This brand is from Amazon. There is a bunch of different types and colors, and it's super cute. You can buy the larger ones, but you guys know the Mini Easy Press is our favorite. And this little guy is a bit cheaper and we are super excited to be showing you guys a great comparison video on this at a later date. However, we wanted to put it on your radar in this video answering do you need only Cricut brand materials with your Cricut because this is an alternative. This is not Cricut brand and it very well may be the same great quality. So keep your eye out for that awesome video comparing this with the Cricut brand. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this Q&A Tuesday answering, do I really need Cricut brand materials with my Cricut machine? I love being able to give you guys alternatives that will help you save money and make you a better crafter. If you enjoyed this video, guys, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and ring that bell to get notified for all the amazing videos that we offer. Don't forget to click the very first link in the description below to see how you can get access to Makers Gonna Learn. You will not regret it. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.